Hey, it's Vicki, and today I'm going to be talking about my reading plans for June, and I'm not going to lie, June sort of snuck up on me. Um, I'm filming this on June 2nd uh, because Friday I realized, oh my gosh, today's the last day of May, and I haven't even planned my TBR for June, let alone filmed anything, so I was running a little behind on that. I don't know, May must have just been one of those crazy busy months. Um, which my TBR, or not my TBR, my May wrap up will reflect that, which um, will probably be the next video I put out. But yeah, so I have <laughs> some carryovers from the month of May and then some more. So it's kind of an ambitious TBR, but I'm really hoping that I'm going to focus on reading this month because May was not that month. So let's dive in. Okay, so the first book that I'm hoping to complete in June is a carryover from May. Um, I started reading uh, Everyone in My Family Has Killed Someone by, I want to say Benjamin Stevenson. I'm about halfway through this one. I'm reading it on my Kindle and I am enjoying it. I actually just purchased the sequel because um, it was a Kindle daily deal. So I went ahead and picked it up. So hopefully I'll read the sequel in the future. Um, but this deals with our main character, Ernie, and his family. They are meeting at a um, ski resort. And yeah, basically, like the title suggests, everyone in his family has killed someone. And you sort of find out the details there. Um, and then there's also a like murder mystery. So yeah, so far it's good. I'm hoping to finish it in June. My other carryover from May is Know My Name by Chanel Miller. This is a memoir. I have only about 100 pages left of this. I was really pushing to try to finish this before the end of the month, but I just couldn't do it. But this is Chanel's um, memoir about being sexually assaulted and the ensuing um, trial within the court system and the media coverage and her obviously uh, dealing with that trauma and how it affected her life and just everything and so, so good. Um, I'm gonna probably finish this in the next day or so. Next up we have the book I chose from my um, book haul revisit that I did in May. I chose Little Girls by Ronald Melfi. This is a horror novel about a young woman who goes back to her childhood home and has a little girl and her little girl starts to like play with and befriends this other little girl um, that looks a lot like a girl that she played with as a child. So she's pretty sure that her daughter's new friend is a ghost. So that just sounds awesome. Um, haunted house, creepy kids. It just sounds like my vibe. My next June read is one that I was, you know, I just purchased it because it came out, I think it came out in May, I think. <laughs> But it just seems like the perfect summer book, the perfect book to sort of kick off summer. So I'm reading The Summer Swap by Sarah Morgan. And Sarah Morgan is an author that I have been wanting to read more of. I read a Christmas themed book by her at Christmas time and I absolutely loved it. So when I saw that she had a new release coming out in 2024, I vowed that I was going to pick it up. So this one is about an elderly woman named Cecilia who owns a cottage, I think in Cape Cod, yeah. Or is it in Cape Cod or on Cape Cod? What's the proper way to say that? I don't know. Uh, so she has this place, um, this little cottage, and she goes there but hasn't been there in a while because, I don't know, she just doesn't want to go there. <laughs> but I believe she rents it out to people and she accidentally shows up to her cottage when she has a renter staying there. And so instead of kicking her out or whatever, this young woman who is renting her cottage, they decide to just kind of hang out together. Um, for, I'm not sure how long, if it's for the whole summer or what, but anyway, they sort of form, you know, a, a bond and Cecilia's grandson at some point comes into the picture. So he might become like a love interest for this young woman that's staying at the cottage. I don't know, but it just seems like a nice way to kick off, um, summer. And I love the cover. It's a very cute cover. So yeah, I'm excited to read this one. My next June read is for the Buzzword Reading Challenge. The challenge was to read a, pick a, pick a title that had two words that repeat somehow in the title. 
And luckily I had a book for that <laughs> on my TBR, and this is one I've had for a while. It's called As Long As Grass Grows, so there we go, as repeats. Um, the subtitle is The Indigenous Fight for Environmental Justice from Colonization to Standing Rock, and this is by Dina Gilio Whitaker. And so this is just a book about environmental justice um, through the eyes of the indigenous people. Um, and it must be pretty brief um, in terms of giving us a history because this book is under 200 pages. Actually, I'm flipping through it. If you go to literally the end of the book, it's only 165 pages. So it's pretty short, but I've heard good things about this one. Um, and it's a topic that I don't really know a whole lot of. You know, I don't know a lot about it. It's a nonfiction topic that I haven't quite touched on too much. So I am hoping to learn some things in this one. And then my last pick for June is kind of just like a wild card. I went to the library to return some books and this one was just sitting there on the, um, they had like a display. I want to say, I can't remember what the display was for. I don't know why I can't think, but anyways, this is a book that I have been wanting to read uh, for a while. So when I saw it just staring at me, I had to get it. So it wasn't planned, but I'm gonna read it this month. That is Natural Beauty by Ling Ling Huang. And this one, oh, it's kind of shiny, sorry. Um, I don't know what to classify this as. Weird, just weird fiction. Um, it's about a woman who I don't know if it even names her. It's one of those situations where the narrator doesn't have a name. Um, she is a musician, um, a pianist, and she starts working at a like holistic beauty place uh, for money because um, she's having a hard time getting by. And this holistic beauty place is really strange. <laughs> they do some uh, unorthodox beauty treatments and so it sounds weird which and like sort of unsettling and I don't know I'm in the mood for that um, I've heard this has been compared a little bit to Rouge um, by Mona Awad which I did read and I liked but it was also pretty weird <laughs> so yeah I I hope this one is good um, I've heard nothing but good things about it, so we shall see. All right, guys, so those are my reading plans for June. Um, please let me know down below what you are planning to read because I would love to know. Um, and yeah, I will be back soon with my May wrap-up. Uh, spoiler alert, it's it's rather short because <laughs> I didn't read a whole lot in May. It happens. But anyways, um, I will catch you when I post that video, and I hope you guys have a great week, and I will talk with you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.